What's up everybody? It's Monday. It's Torque Drift time. We're here to build a new car, the RX-7 FD that we got with the Mad Mike pack. We got 18 crates, plus a bunch of money, and a bunch of gold. We're gonna do a build on this car, see what we can do with it from the get-go. So let's get to it. Start building this car. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All of which found in the description box below. Let's get this rotary game going. All right, so we do have the FDRX7 that we got with the Torque Drift Pack. We have 18 crates. We got about 260,000 and uh, or 216,000 and 380 in gold, so we can get some uh, quick, you know, instant buy parts. So we're gonna do our crates first and see what we can get on the crate. So for the car, the build is happening. So we got a neon crate, which we're gonna open up first. See if we can get any neons for this FD. And we will be doing blue neons, which I don't know if we're going to actually keep, but we'll see. So we got 17 crates to open, so we're going to open these 17 crates, see what kind of parts we get or money we get for this car, and start building this up. Definitely going to be a new car that I'm going to be piloting a lot in this game. So, FDR 7 definitely a car we've been all waiting for, tires and cash. I mean, cash is good. Cash and gold is definitely good. And we're getting a lot of cash apparently and a lot of gold so i'm okay with that because we'll be able to buy parts looks like we got we're not gonna be putting a you know 4ge or that motor in here we're gonna keep it true we're gonna do the rotary Oop. we're gonna keep the rotary motor going more tires more gold so if you guys are enjoying the rx7 and you guys have it built aftermarket angle kit that's actually a good pull because we will need that if you guys are, have it you know, let me know what your guys' car's at now because we're going to be building this car up probably to custom class. FDR7, one of my favorite cars. We get some more tires and some more money. Money's good. Gold's good. Parts will be better. Pro part, pro turbo. That is a definitely a good pull to throw on this car. More tires. So we did get an angle kit and a pro turbo. The pro turbo is a big, a big thing. Those usually cost a lot of money, so we definitely are going to have that advantage. Aftermarket diff, sticky diff. That's good less things we have to buy and we can just buy the upgraded version we got an upgraded motor 13b that's good some wheels because i'm not sure what stock rotary motors in this so we'll be able to put the 13b in there which would be nice because we're going to keep it tried and true with that rotary more tires more cash we got two more to open and then we're going to continue building this thing aftermarket ecu link ecu that's good final crate before we start buying things for this car, money and tires. So let's go take a look at what we actually got for this right now. So we do have aftermarket ECU, which we're gonna put in. We're gonna put that Pro Turbo on and we're probably gonna blow up our motor because we're gonna put it at 18. And what motor do we have in here? So we have a stock 13B. So we can go up to the, you know, aftermarket 13B, which is good. And we're going to get rid of that other motor. We're probably gonna have to go up higher in the motor spectrum, but we're gonna see where we're sitting at right once we do all this angle kit, which we gotta put in the front. We're probably gonna be buying an import angle kit if we have it and can get it. We did apparently get some alloys for this. What did we get? We got some 17s, which are the same. Nope, oh, nope, a little different. So. We're gonna put those on. We're gonna leave the neons off for right now. And we'll put the other ones in the front. What am I doing? No, go back. Back to FD. Put the other wheels on here. We gotta get suspension on this car for sure. So, but at least we have some sort of angle kit on here now. So let's see what we can buy for this car. I know we have a wide body kit and all that. That's gonna be definitely going on this car. So what can we do? We got a lot of a lot of aftermarket parts, import parts. We do have an import angle kit, so we are gonna buy that right away. Quick buy that because we're gonna need that. We don't need the turbo because we have a pro turbo. What engines do we have? Do we have? It is locked. So we're going to probably just buy that motor so that we can buy that. That's gonna be a big 
purchase in there, but we are going to be doing that for sure. Body kits. We definitely want the Y body kit, and we're definitely going to want instant buy that. So now we got a nice Y body kit. We got a nice motor. So wheel wise, unsure what wheels we're going to actually rock on this car. I would like to maybe. I think we're going to keep those wheels on there for right now with what we got. So let's go back to performance and start buying stuff that we need. Can we get upgraded brakes? So we can get an upgraded diff. So we're going to do that. And get that coming. We can do the upgraded ECU. We get that coming as well. And now we need to look at some other stuff. So we do need suspension. And we do need an intake, whether it be 660 or 67. So we're going to go with the k intake. We're going to go with the Mishimoto. We're going to instant buy that. Instant buy that. And we do need to upgrade our clutch. And then we're going to go to the import clutch. So we think that's all the import stuff we can buy and where we're sitting at right now. But we definitely have a good basic on this car. Having the pro motor and everything in there is definitely a plus. So we got the pro motor in there. We're not worried about the LS. The LS. So we're going to leave all that there. We're going to need to adjust. Probably check our clutch. Leave all that there. So now that we got some suspension. Oh, I didn't instant buy the suspension. All right. Throw the suspension on. We're going to leave it how it sits to see how it is out of the box with that. But we need to adjust our angle kit in the front. Go as much as we can. Give a little bit more camber. Confirm that. And then I think we need to adjust tire pressures, which I'm unsure what tires we're going to run. Because I'm not really sure what power we're rocking at right now. 900 okay so we're definitely going to be running some other tires i think we're going to run some falcons on here and we're going to drop that probably to 20 psi to start and we're going to go to the rear we're going to throw the falcons on the rear and we're going to drop that to probably 14 to start and now we need to what are we at right there? That's good. Now we need to put the suspension on in the rear. And I think we'll leave it at that just to see. We need to adjust the angle kit because I know it's going to have positive camber. Go a little over one degree in the rear. So I think this is what we're going to look at right now. Do we have any type of tuning? We have downforce, which we're not going to mess. So. I think this is what we're going to sit at right now for the RX-7. I wish I had some uh, wider front that I could adjust. Can we buy the other body kit? Which allows track. Hmm. I don't know if I want to do that yet. We're going to wait on that. So we're going to go run this how it is. See what we're sitting at with the RX-7 right now. The Pro Motor, the Pro Turbo, definitely good pulls. We got bridge, we got jump, we got freestyle, and we got tunnel's edge. We're going to go take it to the tunnel's edge real quick and see what we're sitting at. The controls have changed a little bit with these cars, but we are going to bring that. It is 929 horsepower. And we're going to try and see what we can do with the FD. It looks like we're going up against somebody rocking the humble. Probably go third gear. Initiate in. So far, out of the box, it handles pretty well. We're gonna go up to fourth. Don't think I can link that all yet. Fourth gear seems to be the kick. That thing throws angle real quick. So for a first quick tune on this, it's handling quite well. Oh, into the wall a little bit. I gotta finish that off. 
So handles quite well. Fourth gear is definitely where we need to be. So definitely impressed with how it drives with just the parts we have on it. Definitely going to be changing, getting more suspension in there, more angle, and better diffs and stuff like that when they become available. But to start the FD build, definitely super excited. We're going to be rocking this car probably more than any other car. Might be selling some cars off to get some more money to continue building it. And he didn't make it because I would like to basically stick to one car so that I can actually, you know, get better with the car and continue to grow with the car and, you know, get my scores up higher and higher. And this FD looks amazing to do that. He left. He don't want it. So we're going to go try it again here at Tunnel's Edge, see if we can get somebody else. So if you guys are building this, let me know how the build is on yours. What level is it? It's at 900 some horsepower already. So it's actually a very powerful car. We're definitely going to throw a livery on here and have some fun with it. Looks like we're going up against a vet. So let's see what we can do again. Starting first gear. Definitely been shifting more and more off the starts. Instead of just sticking in the gear that I think I'm going to need, the car seemed to accelerate better and have a little bit more control off the line when you go through the gears rather than just starting in fourth like I used to with my E46. So fourth gear is definitely the gear to be in right now. Wasn't able to hold it all the way out to there, but I think the tunes that we have on here right now is definitely going to be a stable tune. For leading anyways so now we just need to oh my goodness but we didn't lose our points I don't know how we didn't lose our points but we lost both our front and rear bumper doing a little ping pong so hopefully we can actually try and get a chase and see how this thing chases fortunately he didn't get that good of a run and he just said nope and left so nobody wants to tandem with the FD right now we're going to try this again because I would love to get into tandem, but we're going to look at upgrading the wheels, doing the full upgrade on this car, painting it up, livering it up. So you guys want to keep seeing the build process. looks like we got another FD, 957 horsepower. So this should be hopefully a good test of the car. Kind of initiated a little bit weird there. This game kind of uh, had a little bit of a hiccup on me. We're going to try and stay as close as we can to the wall this time. There we go. Oh, no. Too much of a tap. Unfortunately, that kind of screws up this entire section of the track and screws getting a super high points run because we lost the clean lead while dragging the end. So definitely needs a little bit of tuning, but we should be good. And he got a better run than us. So hopefully we can maybe make it up in the chase here for this run with the FD. So we're going to be bringing a lot more FD content with this car as well as continuing the build process as we keep going. And if I do anything of it offline, I will let you guys know in the next video about it. What has changed? Did not get a good start. And we're definitely far back. Oh my. Yep, definitely need to tweak it a little bit more. There is some fine tuning in the suspension that needs to be done. But I feel like we need to get better suspension to really dial this car in. But for a first shakedown of the car, I definitely like it. It's definitely an amazing car and going to be a awesome addition to my fleet of cars. So, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'll let you follow in the description box below. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.